Hey guys, Chris Miffle here, welcome to today's new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do 3D text in the new Adobe After Effects CS6. Now, CS6 has a lot of exciting 3D features and I'm really excited to share with you. Alright, so when you open up CS6, there's really nothing different about it, it's just the same old thing. The only thing you notice is different is actually the icon here and the icon here. It's basically now back to the old neon light kind of uh, icon instead of the new, of the old CS5.5 3D icon, which is not really a big difference. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how to do 3D text, which is the main part of this tutorial, and so I should stop um, digressing. So, right, I'll uh, create a new composition. I'm just going to leave it at its default settings, and you'll see nothing different about it. So, let me just change, change this back to one view. Next, I'll uh, type in some text here. So, I'm just going to do um, Chris, my fool, like this. Okay. And um, let's change some settings. Let's do something nice like Transformers. I may not considering the fact that this will take a long time to render out. Um, let's see. Let's just take the video black. Uh, Alright, you're rounded. Alright, so Christmas Fool, nothing you know special about it, it's just the same old thing. Now, uh, to begin making it 3D, obviously you set it to a 3D layer first. And once you set it to 3D layer, nothing happens, it's still the normal 3D. <coughs> Next, go to your renderer, which has appeared at the top right hand corner of the screen, click on the render button, and change it to ray trace 3D. Once you click it, it will start to load, and hula! Nothing has happened yet. Alright, now go down to the bottom over here and, open, and expand it out, and now you see geometry options as open up. Open up geometry options, options, and you'll be met with a bunch of cool stuff. Okay, first things first, change bevel style to angular, and as you see, nothing has happened as of yet. Now, um, I'm gonna f I'm gonna rotate this to the side. Uh, not too much, something like. That all right. I'm going to rotate to the side. As you can see, it still says normal. Christmas Fool, no three things. And now let's expand out the extrusion, extrusion depth. And as we expand it out slowly, turn on. You can see that it's now in actual 3D. As you can see, when I rotate it around now, while keeping the main form of the text in front, it is now actually has like a so-called. Uh, it now extrudes out, thus making it real in a sense real 3D. Because now you can look all around it and see that it's actually complete in a sense that it's whole and stuff like that. Alright, so this is a lot of exciting, exciting uh, opportunities. You can do a lot with this 3D stuff. You could, um, well, let's just go, go to the material options. Material options has a lot of cool options. Now you can actually add in a reflection to give a sort of, um, let's just explain it out. You can give it a reflection to reflect against a, a certain surface or anything. Uh, you can give it transparency. I'm not actually sure how transparency works. It's going to find out more about transparency. Um, but reflection does give it a reflection against a soft surface. I'm really not sure about transparency. They're going to find out more about that. And yeah, the rest of it is still the same. Now, this is a really cool option, as I was saying earlier on, because now you can make a lot of cool titles without having to use uh, advanced 3D programs like Cinema 4D or Maya or 3D Max, which is really, 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 really useful. Because all these uh, programs have uh, quite a huge learning curve. I've been trying to learn them and I've been having quite a bit of trouble trying to learn them because they have quite a big learning curve and I don't have that much time to learn them. So now this 3D feature really simplifies things. You can just make really simple or advanced depending on the time you have um, 3D animation stuff with this and which is really really cool. Alright so thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys uh, go check out the new 3D feature in CS6. Um, in case you guys are wondering you guys can actually download a free trial of Adobe uh, CS6 from the Adobe website itself. So go just go to adobe.com Go over to Downloads and click on uh, Adobe After Effects CS6 and click Try and wait for it to load. Wait for it to load. All right, next, as you see, download free trial. Just hit, just choose your, choose your language and hit Download over here when the button pops up and click Download now. So download a free trial of After Effects CS6. It's quite generous. It actually, has a thirty-day free trial, so it's really really cool. You can mess around with it, and if you like it, you can uh, buy it. However, it's quite expensive, which is why I would recommend the 30-day free trial first, and then you can consider options later on. Alright, so thanks for watching my video. Um, check out the next one, which would be which we have a link posted over here if it's up. Uh, where I show you guys uh, 3D camera tracking, which is yet another cool feature of 3Dness in After Effects CS6. Alright, have a nice day.